Good evening. It is 9.42 on Saturday, August 22nd, 2020. Let's get the exact second on that. Um, just a moment. 9.42.31. Here we go. I don't. I, I wouldn't normally do this at night. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but frankly, I don't think the Chinese have until tomorrow. So, it needs to be spoken about as quickly as possible. Here's what's going on. <laughs> wow. What do we got here? China. On Labor Day of 2019, I did a video called Sino-Jonah. And it um, has to do with a lot of things that happened in my past. It was for the Chinese. No one's taken note of it. And maybe now is the time. In Labor Day of 2019, there was no COVID-19. There was no 70 years of China's history. It was just me and a camera and a bus <laughs> on a hotel parking lot. But what was in the background over my right shoulder really, really hit home. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't plan these things out. I grab a camera and I start talking. So Labor Day 2019, I said it all starts with China. And in the background behind me was the five-star rental location for Hertz. Hertz. My last two videos have been about Hertz. H-E-R-T-Z. You know, can you hear me now? Can you hear him now? He's talking. So Hertz Five Star Rental was in the background, and um, and I was making a video for China. Sino Jonah is S I N O. Sino meaning Ch uh, the Ch China. Um, and the reason I was doing that was because in February of 2019, the Chinese New Year happened, and the Chinese New Year was the year of the Earth Pig. And a friend of mine called me, texted me. And then we spoke, and he said, yeah, if it was just the year of the pig, I wouldn't have called you. It's the year of the earth pig. Well, that tattoo on my ankle has the word aardvark on it. And in Dutch, the word aardvark means earth pig. So in February, there was a connection between myself and the Chinese people because my nickname is the earth pig. And in that video done on Labor Day, I splice in some stuff about where you can find out that my name was the earth pig that's written on a shelf in a buddy's barn has been there for 20 years 18 years for sure um so that tied me to china in february of 2019 long before long before covid labor day before covid um then what 2007 the China Code, what is that, 15 years? No, 13 years ago? 13 years ago, my daughter drew markings on her arm, okay? One was a Chinese symbol. The other was the sun with a swirl in the center of it. The other was a heart and a cross. And the other was, uh, huh. hmm, I think maybe that's it. Anyway, if you go to... I'll leave the link. It's called the China Code. If you go to my website and watch that video, I would play it for you here. Except the FTC doesn't want to see any child stuff that could violate their COPA laws. I'm not playing games with those people. I can't show it here. I can show it there. I don't do cookies. So it's over there. The link will be there. But she drew this message to China. It has a Chinese symbol. It's for them. In 2007, that didn't make any sense to me at all. But when their year became the year of the Earth Pig in 2019 in February, and I make a video on Labor Day that says it all starts with China, and there's the five star in the background. Five star meaning the five stars on the Chinese flag. Look up five. Just Google five star. And tell me it doesn't hit China, 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 Chinese food, Chinese food, Chinese food, China, China, China. Five star. In the background of a video for them. God doesn't do things by mistake. So for some reason I'm tied 
to the Chinese, and I believe it's to give them this message. And the message at the China Code is, hey, China, God, your creator loves you. He died for you. <laughs> he wants you back. He's sending his son, the bridegroom. They need to wake up. The Three Gorges Dam. The other day I said, wave upon wave, the deep, okay? That's a message that's going out, wave upon wave. Do you know what happens if that Three Gorges Dam breaks? 400 million people will be devastated, absolutely devastated. I don't know how many of those people will pass away into eternity not knowing Jesus, but we have a responsibility as Christians to tell them that their creator is calling them. Why is this half? Oh, and by the way, 400 million people is more than the entire population of the United States. We only have 328 million people over here. This is just the section of China that's going to be wiped out because of that Three Gorges Dam, and it is approaching flood stage, and the rain is not relenting. Why? China. 1949 to 2019. Proverbs 16:18. Pride goeth before a destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. They built the largest dam thinking that that was power. That's not power. God's hand over weather is power. You think that thing can provide power? God's hand is going to wipe that thing out if you do not repent. This is, the, this is the message to Nineveh, let me tell you. China needs to repent. But they don't know that. So here I am telling them. A five-year-old girl got a message for China in 2007 that I couldn't decipher until 2019. And now I'm telling people, and I hope that if any video goes viral, it's this one. So... 1949, by the consent of the people, they chose to have no God. They chose communism, a godless society. And because of that choice, God gave them 70 years to 2019. And then because of that pride, he created COVID-19 and released it from them. If it came from multiple sources, it doesn't matter. The whole world is blaming COVID on China. Their pride is causing them a destruction. And it's only for one purpose. The other day I sat on the porch and I told you that God had me at the brink because he needed to show me something and to change something in me that I didn't even realize was there. The Chinese people have no idea the Lord God that they offended when they chose to become communist in 1949. You look up, H, 1949, it says to make an uproar, to destroy. That's the year they chose. October 1st, 20, uh, October 1st 1949, they chose their destruction. And if they do not change, it will come wave upon wave because of their pride. COVID came out in December 2019 affected the whole world. Nobody, nobody wants to help China. Right now, everyone thinks they're getting what they deserve. They're getting what they deserve. Whoa, put the brakes on that. Is that what Christians believe? That's not what we believe. Romans 3.10, as it is written, none are righteous, no, not one. No one seeks after God. This is the pot calling the kettle black. If the world thinks China is horrible, they need to open up their own closet and start looking at the skeletons hanging in there. None are righteous, no, not one. Now here's the, here's the, here's the problem for us, okay? This destruction, this Three Gorges Dam, and all the rest of the things that are going on in China are going to cause crop loss, famine, probably cholera, or some other type of disease because of poor, poor living quality, poor water to drink, all the rest of it, and a financial failure of the yuan which will then have a cataclysmic effect across the world because markets are falling everywhere because in this valley that destroys 400 million people, 
every industry will be inundated for months, maybe even years, before they can rebuild. The only thing we're going to be able to sell them is cement, and they won't have the money to pay for it. So there's a, there's a whole lot of problems going on there. They get what they deserve? I don't think so. Well, I mean, I suppose they do, but then I don't want what I deserve. I want mercy, and that's what God's here for. We still live in a time of grace. They still have an opportunity to change. Will they? <laughs> that's where we come in. Nobody wants to help China. We need to pray for China. We need to pray that they see this, that they know this, that they recognize it, that God opens their eyes because he will heal their land if they humble themselves, turn their face towards him, get turn their back on, on the Lakshan Buddha, which is getting his toes dipped in the water over there, and all the rest of the pagan idolatry that they have. If they turn from that, he can keep that Three Gorges Dam from bursting. But if they don't, I don't know, you answer it. I got a pretty sure idea that's going to happen. So, none are righteous, no, not one. The pot calling the kettle black. Over here, we got Hollywood, California, creating the error of Balaam. And not just Hollywood, New York, Florida, wherever they pump out filth that goes against the word of God, that's the error of Balaam. How do the priests die in the air of Balaam? Through fire. Right now, California's having worse fires than they had a couple years ago. Even worse. That's happening right now. Derecho? In Iowa? Wiped out 10 whatever million acres of crops? However, you, that was a lot. It was like a fifth of our crop, a fifth of our corn, soybeans for the year. Um, we're looking at a little bit of maybe famine. Certainly, it's going to be the... <laughs> A, lo a day's wage for a loaf of bread? That could be true. It's going to happen for them, for sure, for China. But for us, maybe coming next. <sighs> the Earth's going to open up. That could be the New Madrid fall. This is one eclipse. That's the other eclipse lands on New Madrid, a little bit south of where I live. Um, that could do some serious devastation, and that could open up the Earth. We don't know when that's going to happen. People think at the midpoint, 2021, I believe, is the, is the projected time for that. Um, the derecho, the crop failure, you can go back a couple videos where I got a COVID-19 sign on my, uh, on my videos. Go back there. I'll, I'm not going to leave a link, but anyway, go back and look for the one with the COVID-19 on it and watch it about 10 minutes because I talk about something that was in my heart. It was called cotton balls in Kansas. I kept hearing cotton balls in Kansas, cotton balls in Kansas. And I thought, well, maybe that's cotton ball sized hail falling in Kansas and wiping out the sunflower crop because sunflowers turn to face the sun. That's a form of sun worship. Uh, the Jews say when they had two armies coming against them in, in Chronicles 2012, we don't know what to do, but we're going to turn our face to you, a form of worship. And then they go out and they praise him. He saves them, but that's because they worshiped him through turning their face towards him. The sunflowers turn their face towards the sun, which means they worship the sun. God would destroy sunflowers for worshiping the sun as a as a oh what do you call it an example for us because we got our own sun worshipers in this country <laughs> we definitely do none are righteous no not one romans 3 10 and then we're headed for civil war i don't i don't know if you know that but uh, i think probably this election time we're going to have some serious troubles now i believe the rapture is going to happen before the election but that doesn't mean I don't care for the people that are left behind. We, they need to know. So the Bible says those who show mercy will be given mercy. If mercy is shown, if we show mercy to China, who's getting, they're just, just getting inundated because of their sin. If we show them mercy, then when our turn comes up, we'll be shown mercy. And those of us who believe in the rapture really need to show this mercy because we are the watchmen. We are the ones that know what's going on, what time it is. And we know that he takes their blood on our hands for not telling them that the sword is going to fall. China, God's sword is falling on you right now. You 
probably don't realize it, but in 1949, you committed yourself to a destruction. Your pride has cost you. In the year, in the 70 year anniversary that you're supposed to be celebrating with great joy, God turns that year into an absolute mess. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. I tell you what, if anyone out there, anyone out there knows any person who is Chinese that can translate, that can do a voiceover for this video and get this in the hands of people that need to know, I, I would love to work with that person. Um, and if not, you know, maybe we can, I, I don't know, figure out a way to, to get somebody to do it. I know there's Chinese Christians out there. Somebody knows somebody. So, G2019, the year of the earth pig. Guess what 2019 means? To call out, to shout. I tried shouting in 2019. Nobody heard me. <laughs> it is what it is. Timing is everything, and the timing is of the Lord. Uh, in fact, I, I, these, these videos came out in 2019, but there was no reason for anybody to listen. But now, with COVID-19 coming out in 2019, and the Three Gorges Dam about to burst, maybe people are ready to listen. I got a history with this. No doubt, I got a history with this. And I know that this is part of what I'm supposed to do. Please consider that 400, people, 400 million people's lives are at stake. More people that live in the entire United States. And they're no less guilty than any one of us. We have all turned our backs on God. Romans 3.10. No one searches after God. God comes to us. He sent Jesus. These people need our help. Now, if we help them and if we show them mercy, what do you think those 400 million people are going to do? They're going to start praying for us. For us. That we don't have to go through what they went through. Do we want their prayers? Yeah, I don't know. Do you want 400 million people praying for you? I'd sure like to have 400 million people praying for me. That would, that would, whew, that would, that would move the hand of God. I think we're going to see it. Isaiah 49 says we're going to see it. Uh, it says that, uh, Isaiah 49, 12, and these shall come from the land of Sinim, Sino, China. Uh, go to George Chuang's channel. I'll leave a couple links there. There's also some videos back there about uh, Isaiah 49. Um, and I've kind of thought that I'm that guy because of my daughter's drawing, my daughter's drawing to China on her arm, the earth pig thing, the Labor Day thing. I just, but now... They need to know. If God doesn't stop pouring rain on China, it's going to top that Three Gorges Dam. They won't be able to pump water out fast enough. And I think that's the point. They are at the point where everybody downriver of the Three Gorges Dam is praying to any God they can to get this to stop. We know the God that can stop it. Will we pray? Will we tell them? What will we do? Will we show mercy? before it happens or will we wait until afterwards and then you know let Hollywood do a fundraiser I think we need to get this out as soon as possible I'll leave links the videos are on my site anything with with my daughter in it because she is it was a child at the time will not be on YouTube because of FTC compliance and so you will have to go to my web my, my website for that and um, I guess that's it. This one's kind of serious, isn't it? It's a lot more serious than the others. It's very right up in our faces. God bless. Take care. Good night.